Hi there, Kathy Brennan here, helping you to look better, feel better, and do better. So today we're going to talk about how you define yourself, or how you describe yourself. This is very important. It's really important for you to get in your mind how you're defining yourself, because this is what happens. When we define ourselves a certain way, we will set out to make it true. That's how our minds work. If we define ourselves as ugly, subconsciously we'll make sure that we look ugly. So it's really important to get inside and try to hear how you define yourself. I actually ask myself the question, how do you describe yourself or how do you define yourself? So what words do you use? Words are so important. What words do you use to describe yourself? Do you describe yourself as ugly? Do you look in front of the mirror and go, oh, I don't like how that looks? Well, when we do that, we'll make sure it's true. And it, our, physical, our physical appearance is one thing, but our, where our heart is and where our emotions are, that also really comes out in how we look. So I'm never going to be taller or shorter than I am, but I might carry myself in a new way if I stop defining myself as ugly. Um, do you say to yourself, oh, I'm so afraid to do this or I'm afraid to do that? Well, when you do that, you'll make sure you continue to stay afraid. Instead of that, say, I'm going to, you could say to yourself, I'm going to Hit this thing head on. I have, the, I have the strength to take care of this. I have the power to handle this situation. Because when you describe yourself that way, then you will have the power to handle the situation. You will be able to do it. You will make it true. Because your mind believes what it hears. And I'm just talking about thoughts right now. But we also will say things outwardly. Let's say someone gives you a compliment. Oh, this someone says, that's a really nice outfit. And I've done this. Oh, yeah, I know, but it's old. And I got it on sale, blah, blah, blah. We start to kind of shrink back and make excuses for someone making a compliment. Well, what if you just answered by saying, well, thank you. I appreciate that. And just let it sink in. Because actually... If I give someone a compliment and tell them, oh, that's a gorgeous dress, and they turn around and start making all these excuses about why it's not, pretty soon I think, well, I've done something wrong here. Really, when you give someone a compliment, what you want to hear back is thank you. So it's how, we, how we're thinking and how we're defining ourselves. If someone says you're beautiful, can you just accept it and say thank you? And really let that settle into your belly and believe it because then it will be true. You'll make it true. So many of us define ourselves as not enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not quick enough. I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not this, that, and the other thing enough. So when we describe ourselves that way, we make sure it's true. But it doesn't have to be that way. We are all enough. I know I'm speaking to everyone. <laughs> you are enough. You are. That's the fact. That's the truth. And by the way, it's what you are. Like what you are is just enough. I, I can't make this point more strongly. And if you're not feeling enough, I want you to go into your in front of a mirror and say to yourself out loud, I am enough. You might want to go to the next thing and say, I'm beautiful. Because when you say that, you will make it true. You will make it true. Your mind will make sure it's true. This is how it works. It's very simple. These words. So often I hear people say, now we, we say this internally, but we also say things externally. Oh, I can't do that. 
Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I could never do that. I've heard that many times. Well, when you say I can't and I could never, you will make sure that it's true and you will never do that. So when someone, this often says, okay, I find this in running a lot. So I've discovered my inner runner and I've run eight marathons. And over 50% of the time, if it comes up, people will say, oh, I could never run a marathon. Oh, I, I, and sometimes they say, oh, I would never run a marathon. Often they say, I could never. And then they go into an excuse of my knee, my hip, my genetics, blah, 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 whatever. And here's what I, I often think in my mind. If that person could cure cancer by running a marathon, I'm pretty sure they'd do it. If they could set, save their child from some pain or agony, they'd do it. So be careful of that word or that phrase, I can't do this. I, it really means I won't. Maybe you don't want to. I'm not saying everyone wants to run a marathon. There's no reason to throw up throw up in the, the comment, I could never do that. You don't need to say that. You can just take it in and you could think about it. But you don't have to describe yourself differently than the than another person. You can just be who you are. So often we say and think these things. Another one, do you believe you're lovable? Do you describe yourself as lovable? Or do you describe yourself as not lovable? Well, if you describe yourself as not lovable, you'll make sure it's true that you're not lovable. So as you describe yourself as lovable, you will make that true to those people around you. So it helps everyone. It doesn't just help you, it helps everyone. So we need to first take the step of defining or describing ourselves positively in our minds. Then take the step of erasing or stopping the habit of saying negative things about yourselves to others. So if someone compliments you on the outfit and then you start to say it, or someone says, wow, you're really good at that. Oh, no, I'm not that good. Everybody else can do it better. You know, if we stop doing that, because as you do that, you make it true. And then the third thing would be, if you dare to say something positive about yourself publicly. So if someone said, hey, we need somebody to organize this thing, I could easily say, hey, I'm good at organizing. What do you want me to do? Because I am good at it's just something that I, that I do well. We all do things well. You do things well. You really do. And when you own those and, and um, can define yourself that way, not only does it, is it easier for you, it, it just helps everyone around you when you do what you're good at. And define yourself in a positive way. D defining ourselves not positive is just a bad habit. So it's easy to get rid of once you're aware of it and start describing yourself or defining yourself as positive in your mind and then verbally to others. Dare to tell somebody you're good at something. Go ahead, I dare ya. And see what happens. People often just love that. Oh, good. Now can you help me with this? Or, you know, I already know you're good at that. I, I have a friend who's um, a connector, and I tell her so often, you are so good at connecting people. And I don't think she ever saw that as a skill in herself before, but because it's not one of mine, I appreciate it so much in her. And someday she's going to tell me, you know, I am good at that. So I look forward to that day. So how we define ourselves, very important. Do it in your mind, do it with your words, because you'll make it true. Have a fantastic day.